Hello there, Aries. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Infinity. Welcome to my channel and this video. This is for a reading for the portal, the 222 2021 portal for you, Aries. Beautiful fire sign, first sign of the zodiac. And we have so many. Uh, incoming energy, so much going on, and I just keep seeing how our new moon and our portal on the 22nd were very much so. One was on the 11th, the next, and then the, the portal's on the 22nd, so definitely connected there. I've been seeing it the same. So, uh, go ahead and if you haven't already, watch the videos, um, or the fire sign video for the new moon might get some insight there but this is just what you need to know so no particular theme it's just what you need to know and um oh we need to know this part <laughs> six of wands and we're going right side up it's telling me not in reverse six of wands right side up awesome card so if you don't know who I am or what I do, I'm a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, natural born energy healer. I channel, I lead people in at groups of astral meditation. So I'll be doing, I got the directive from my guides, our guides, yours, mine, and ours. Next card, eight of cups. Six of wands, eight of cups that I'll be doing daily guided meditations. Seven of Cups. <laughs> okay. What's this? King of Pentacles. Right side up, I'm hearing. Quickly flowing here, you guys. Uh, and I, so I offer readings and different types of healings. The Evolve Now program is my signature program, working with me in deep, deep healing. And uh, I offer a two hour free consultation for that. So please take a look at my website. Of course, I offer private readings, private tarot and oracle readings as well. So you can take a look at that. I have a special one out right now for love readings, um, new, new offerings. So, so again, check those out as you're guided. Next card, the hanged man right side up. Uh, oh, so I was going to say the meditation for today was about um, clearing abundance blocks and healing the money wound. So please, please take a look at that major, major healing going on there. King of Wands. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, we have an extra card here. We had three that just fell. Next is Page of Cups. Next is Temperance. And Aries gets a bonus card with the Strength card. That's a great card to have a bonus. <laughs> Awesome. Look at all of this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's get into it. Six of Wands, Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, King of Pentacles, the Hangman, King of Wands, Cage of Cups, and Temperance. Interestingly enough, this is the same position that um, Pisces had temperance. So that's interesting. It's, can't help but notice. And then lastly, we have the strength card down here. Oh, let me Oh, straight into my into my T. There we go. Over there. Okay. So uh, 
All right, so starting here with the six of wands, I feel like you have a busy and robust, or you did, you have a lot of social connections. So maybe the pandemic has changed that, most definitely has. Um, but I feel like you have a lot of social connections. Your fire is out there, but obviously, um, I think things really shifted and possibly the pandemic had a lot to do with that. Um, just maybe being forced to go into solitude, to be more solitary, to be more isolated, um, it was really kind of the one of the reasons that we are going through this whole pandemic thing. Um, I'm not going to get into that right now, but certainly one of the uh, necessary factors for the pandemic was to force people because people won't do stuff unless they're forced to, right? Most of us, <laughs> a lot of times we need to be forced in this situation. So society as a whole is really getting forced to go into and be solitary, um, really get introspective, really start to look at what is going on with your life. And even though busy socially, having a lot of friends or a lot of dates or just being busy, having a, you know, maybe even multiple jobs or just being really active. Um, but change and shifted you also. So maybe, maybe you were already kind of going through the, oops, places here. Maybe you were already kind of going through the, the, uh, your spiritual awakening, a shift in your consciousness, but definitely this last year I'm seeing with the pandemic really catapulted that, um, really tapping into inner wisdom, understanding more about the abundance made, well, a lot of people don't even know there's an abundance matrix, so that could be a totally new phrase or concept for you, but just abundance, law of attraction, um, but the abundance matrix really is the crystalline grid within, embedded in Gaia, and also just as a web around her in her atmosphere, and energy is going back and forth, and what was, what is the material matrix is just really embedded in between, and kind of like a Oh gosh, just in, in a, a web of interference between Gaia, her abundance matrix, and us. Um, and the abundance matrix is not just for like manifesting and money and that. It's it's for us being able to break um blocks and bonds and negative energies and connect with Gaia, connect with each other. So the abundance matrix is has a lot, it, it does a lot. So when we tap in with that, we, we get into our inner wisdom and we start to learn more about ourselves and about um, other people, about how we live in the world, what about creation, so on and so forth. Um, I keep wanting to write to make this higher. Not really. It's a little off. Um, there, I think that's a little better. So, okay. And I think there's definitely, so once that happened, we got into this period of uh, the hangman, the hangman really represents just seeing things from a different perspective and and awakening your spirituality and tapping in with that that inner knowing about yourself and 
just kind of while you're holding on to the past, to who you were and reconciling before you let go and let yourself fall. Um, the hangman is the number 12 in the major arcana. And we have heavy with animals symbology here. We have the snake, we have the wolf. Um, I don't see any animals here or here or here. We have the lion here with the king of wands. We have she's showing us two lions with strength and the lamb. We have the piggy here, the little pig that flies with our page of cups. And I think that's it, but that's a lot. Um, this isn't, I mean, this deck is just kind of peppered with animal symbology. So it's not a given, like some decks always have animals in every single card. So anyway, just thought I'd note that we have two representations here with strength and the king of wands with the, with the, the lion. Um, so with this situation here, so this is a, more about the past and this is more about the present and into the future. It is the way we're seeing, I'm seeing it here. It's not always the case, but in this reading, that's what I'm seeing with these eight and then bonus nine cards. Uh, so getting and tapping into your your wisdom, your soul, your sacred knowledge, doing the work, being in solitary, but using that time wisely, not like playing video games and watching endless Netflix, but, you know, really meditating, researching, reading, writing, just kind of doing, doing this stuff. Um, working on, on research and, and healing even, and just leveling up your vibration really been thinking about what that means and coming into a whole new set of understanding after figuring some stuff out about the world creation your part in it where you belong all that kind of stuff just really opens that up like like I tell people if you ask you shall receive if you start asking questions for and about your existence and what that all means then you'll definitely start getting answers. And that's when this kind of comes into play. I kind of see, well, between the hermit and the hangman, they're like different, different sides of the same coin that we need to go through in our spiritual awakening. And maybe not just once, <laughs> not necessarily a one and done thing um, with those energies. So anyway, getting into this energy with the hangman and really balancing out and and awakening yourself to really the truth and the powerful being that you are i think that you've kind of <laughs> um noticed and revere and think it's you know, other people are really powerful and healers or psychics or any of that stuff. And, and you don't recognize that in yourself and how very, very connected to the light you are, how powerful you are. Um, your overall, I mean, this is a, a very physically strong person, but you can tell he's He's wise, he, he knows some stuff, he can teach you some stuff. And, and, I, and that's, that's you. I'm seeing this as being you. You're transitioning, you're powerful. And uh, this page of cups, page of cups is, is, uh, is psychic, is emotional, is, uh, actually a great balancing type of energy to the Aries energy, but also um, that fire and water combination 
we have here with this with again fire king of wands um aries and here it's like allowing yourself to integrate <laughs> here this is you going what? i'm what? i can do what? it's what? <laughs> I just starting to figure out more of your who you are, your your power, your destiny, your abilities, um, the gifts that you have that you can tap into that you're meant to share with the world. And here we are with temperance needing that balance between the worlds, really figuring out your space. And so with this portal, with this new moon and portal, um, we're needing to allow for us to integrate this reality with the reality that we can't see, but we're totally a part of, totally connected to. You know, so it's like reconciling time, just more and more reconciliation with your place in the world, where you are, your light side, your shadow side, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, your your guides and guardians being connected to guides and guardians here, and the and your galactic stars up here, the light. Um, and last but not least, strength, right? Oh, hello. So coming into your power, coming into your strength. There we go. Coming into your power and your strength. Is really what's going to, what's going to go down with this portal and just kind of let this flow. So the advice is continue on your path of, of, Kind of doing inventory and cutting cords with people going through yeah going through inventory of your life cutting cords has been a really 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 big theme all year long any any client that's working with me privately has been guided to work on cutting cords so i have an ebook i have a free guided um natural meditation the healing practice it's super deep super intense um, very awesome. We go to the healing temple. We work with our bodies and our energy and just, and cutting cords sounds so invasive, but it's just really about bringing power into yourself. So if you're so guided, please check out the links in the description. I always have them there for my eBooks. I have several eBooks and I'm working on more, um, cause I have a lot written. So I'm just organizing them, um, from my website and from my articles that have been published on medium. Anyway, you can get to all of that, but the, but so really think about how cutting cords is really going to help you open up flow of energy back to you. And you don't even see like how many, because you're so connected to, to other people. If it's just your family, like you had a big family or just you're there for your family, or you could be even in some type of instruction, just being around people, maybe a teacher. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, somebody I'm just feeling like this is speaking mostly to people who have or what were from, you know, in the past, maybe before the pandemic around a lot of people going into more of a solitary state, figuring stuff out getting into your power, channeling down information, being awoken to the real world, not the fake world that we're shown, but what's really real is, is our spirituality, our soul, our guides and guardians, the connections we have with ascended masters, with mother, father, God, Gaia, mother earth, especially, and all of this and what it means for us and us being on a soul mission. And what is that? Why am I here? And then your soul starting to come down and integrate with you to tell you what that is. And you going, this is as likely as pigs flying. And it's like, nope, this is real. This is magic. This is the way it works. 
<laughs> getting in touch and in tune with your angelics and archangels and your guides, um, animal spirits. So I'm feeling animals here big time. Lastly, strength. So really coming into a, a time of empowerment, of feeling really good about where you are and what you want to do moving forward. Also, uh, really putting out energy from your heart chakra. I hadn't really seen or felt this here with this card before, but really putting out energy with your heart chakra to this flame of this energy probably that's why we got this bonus card right just because it's like yo look at this you are so once you get into really like these next few weeks the um and especially if you do those meditations it's really going to help clear a lot of energy for you so you can really tap in because remember these two are basically next to each other so the, so you're being ushered into this time of knowing of balance, um, at, you know, as above, as, you know, so is above, below, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> and, and connecting with your own power, your own energy, your own soul song and heart chakra, your soul codes, emanating that out, being of, you know, human and of your soul self integrating. So this is on its way really powerfully coming through with this uh, this portal, this new moon and this, this 222 portal. And see that infinity symbol there? An infinity symbol there um, on her left arm. And that is representing the infinite to the, the left arm, the left hand is receiving. So you're receiving infinite um, knowledge and energy and wisdom. Maybe you're even connected to Valyrians. Um, and, and you're just really just cycling this through and sending it out. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a nine. Never seen this before. See this nine? Kind of. <laughs> you don't. It's okay. I see it. And it's the eight strength, but it's telling us we're moving into our light, light workers are known as the nines on the other side, nine, um, really representing the light worker. I really want that to focus. There we go. So Aries, this is awesome. So continue on your path, do the work that you need to do with doing your inventory, cutting cords, releasing what no longer serves you, letting go into the future so you can really step into your power, allow for integration for your soul to come in and really accept your place and position here in the world. Um, it's what you're here for. So you need to get here. You really, really need to get here and all this will happen. Okay, next is Moonology. All of you here, and I'm being told. Dave and Palo Santo here, and just gonna clear these cards a little bit. It's a really easy way to clear cards. It's just with some smoke from your sage and or Palo Santo. I have them in the same bowl. I just. Um, okay, here we go. Whoa, oh, okay, whoa, wow. <laughs> Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Okay. One more. All right, two more. <laughs> they both wanting to come out, Aries. Have faith in your dreams. Ah, okay. And look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So another more fire. 
So we have void, of course, and waxing crescent moon. So we're getting bigger in our power. Have faith in your dreams. You're waxing um, with that moon. And then this, let me tap into this because this was really came out. Okay, so basically what I'm hearing with this is literally until unless you start diving deeper and doing real intense healing and clearing work, like cord cutting, like um, healing money and abundance wounds, you're just going to be like here. It's really, really imperative that you take this step. Maybe you're a little, a little apprehensive Maybe you're a little apprehensive about meditation. Maybe you've gone into the different dimensions a little bit higher. Maybe you were hijacked into the lower dimensions because maybe there's some negative energy attached to you and, or you're afraid of your power. A lot of people are afraid of their power because it can be very overwhelming when you start to really download what is up with the who that you are. So, I mean, you can be an incarnate, you could be an earth angel an incarnated earth angel. I'm really feeling this, um, or a star seed for sure. Either way, you're an incarnate light being on divine mission and you can wrap your head around that, like all on your own, on your own time, but it's not changing. Nothing is changing here. It's all very powerful, very intense, but here coming out first is don't procrastinate. Don't wait on this. Nothing's going to come of it. And now is the time. We are in this portal between or the stargate in its own way between the new moon, the dark moon, and the the full, uh, well, the full moon's on the 27th. It's five days after the 22nd. So there's this kind of, a, and the 27th is always its own power ascension date anyway. Um because it's a nine. And again, the nines are, are activated more on days that have a nine. So it's either the, the nine or the 18th or um, the 27th. So all nines and the full moon is on the ninth. I mean, sorry, is on the 27th, which is a nine. So that's really important. So really take this time, look at the bigger picture. It's Timing is important and the way that we weave our energy through stuff and just know if you do the work, just take that leap of faith, you just go out and know you'll be safe. You might appear to be alone, but you're not really alone. You're really not alone. Um, okay, so let's get into... Let's see. Hidden World's Oracle. To wrap this up. The Relics of Lemuria. Huh, it's about tapping in. Holy moly. So we have more angel um, symbology here with what's going on up here there is our moon um more animals here with the bird relics of lumeria fragments memory reclaiming look at that okay without further ado let's get right into it the relics of lumeria fragments memory reclaiming page number 44 and 45 there are within these hidden worlds, between the worlds kept safe, the precious remnants of the land of Lumuria, the place where humanity had its inception and where you have had lifetimes as shapeshifter, mermaid, creature of the air and of the skin. These relics of the lost land sent out their energies to the world and we receive them in the moments when we dream of our other lives when we remember fleetingly who we once were and when we discover we, what, <laughs> starting over. <laughs> that just twisted me up, sorry, sorry, sorry. So 
start all the way at the beginning. These relics of the lost land send out their energies to the world and we receive them in the moments when we dream of our other lives. When we remember fleetingly who we once were and when we discover we too have abilities to heal, to hear, to sense, and to communicate deeply with the natural world. When this part comes to you, take a moment to give thanks to the earth, to soften into the world, to notice the plants and the other and their languages, the birds and their song, the intertwining of all that is, and know that you are part of the beauty that is all around us. Reconnect and recommit to your own reclaiming of power. Allow the senses to extend and to feel the world in a deeper, more intuitive way. The loose the lost books of Lemuria are written into your DNA. And when you recall, even for a moment, all that you are, its energy is reactivated in this world today. No longer a memory, but as true enduring abilities that once remembered can be reclaimed, reactivated in gentle, inspiring ways. Oh, it gets me emotional. <laughs> it really gets my heart chakra like. Illumination. When I remember, I reactivate. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, this is about you reclaiming that, you remembering, you coming into that power, having these like, oh my God, yes, this is actually a thing because we all kind of go through that in our awakening. It talked about dreams. And here we talk, there's dreams here and there's dreams that came through here. And, um, you know, this could also be, you know, this, this kind of dark nighttime thing going on here to, um, even with this hangman kind of showing you a different perspective. So dreams, what goes on in your dreams. Um, so you, your dreams either have been, or will be getting more and more, um, maybe vivid, or you could just be needing to sleep and having to, to, to be in that astral plane, maybe because you're not doing it in, with intent in meditation, because one way or another, we go to the astral. So either you go there intentionally through meditation and, and sitting down to connect, right? Or we do it passively kind of, you know, just like in our sleep, we go into actual, because as soon as you, you, you fall asleep, you're, you know, and you get past that little first zone of being asleep, your soul leaves your body. It's still connected, but your soul is tethered and leaves your body and goes to the higher realms and dimensions and, and your guides and guardians come to you to take you places um, in time for you to reconnect and remember because Lemuria still exists. It's not gone. It's just a different place in time. And if, and, and of course, those of us that are incarnate now, whether no matter what you are, but I, I'm really feeling a strong earth angel thing going on here, could, but also any star seed, also earth and angels, a lot of times identify as star seeds because they feel such a, a pull to a different um, system, star system or planet. Um, but they could have just, it could just be an earth angel thing um, because angels, angels can incarnate in any shape or form. And so by definition, they are, can be star seeds and then come to, to Gaia. And so we're seen as human here and then star seeds otherwise, but still you can be an earth angel. And so it can get a little complicated, but the bottom line is, is that you're in a state, your, um, your trajectory here is about remembering and coming into that. Oh, look at this. It's 133 on the 13th. I just have to show you that. Wow. <laughs> So more magic, more synchronicity is here. Um, 
So balance out your meditative time and do get into deep healings, find healers that you can work with to really help sort out and do some healing from your past. Cause I, I'm also feeling like you know, anybody, anybody needs and everybody needs, especially if you're a light worker, if you're an empath, you really, really need to do some deep, deep healing. That's what my Evolve Now program is all about. But no matter what, on your own with somebody else, if you're guided to me, great. I offer a two hour free consultation and a mini energy clearing that on its own is really powerful and really connects you to Gaia like this card said said to do so maybe that's also why we're seeing so many animals showing up here because animals really help you connect to the nature because animals are nature we're nature but we kind of forget that so connecting with nature really paying attention to your dreams um is important and that's really what this is all about is coming into the reconnection reactivating reuniting with you and who you are and that wisdom look at we have two kings here two kings here look how powerful it is plus temperance plus strength holy moly you i mean it's just like like a tidal wave that's just you know like seriously um a lot of a lot of water i'm feeling a lot of water here because there is healing that needs to be done water is very healing but there's also fire and fire is very clearing and healing as well um I'm, i always have fire going on with my my candles constantly it looks like i need a light more but uh but yeah so using the elements i'm hearing as well have get vases of water and just have water around your home and, and make sure candles are lit as much as you possibly can. Uh, I get these six to seven hour, see how about they are six to seven hour tea lights. They're soy. I get them on Amazon. You get 300 for 30 bucks. Cannot beat that. And it lasts me about a month because I light a lot of candles. I, I would light a lot more. Um, but Anyway, just working with the elements, air, water, fire, of course, fire sign with my Aries here, reconnecting. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for being here, for joining me. Please like, share, comment. Let me know how this resonates with you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Visit my website. See what I have to offer you privately. Um, and just go and check out the ebooks and do the meditation. All of that is free. It doesn't cost a thing, okay? Um, congrats on who you are. You're very powerful. And um, just accept it and run with it and, and allow for the unfoldment to happen. All right, guys. Bye for now. Peace out.